Hello! In today's video we will talk about chains. Chains are a module in the powerful Langchain library and they are a very simple yet powerful solution that allows you to combine many large language models in the same project. So you can take the output of one model and use it as an input of another model. We will create a practical project today that will help you generate content ideas based on the content you consume on YouTube. So without wasting any time, let's just dive in. Let's go. And as always, we need to start with uh, installing the necessary packages. And in our case, uh, these are going to be Langchain, OpenAI, Gradio, and then two packages for YouTube loader, because we will, use, we will load transcripts from YouTube and the python.env in order to finish our first step, which is loading API keys from .env. So that's what I'm doing right now. And then as the second step, we will need to load YouTube transcripts and for that, we will use Langchain's YouTube loader. Uh, however, I want to make it so that we actually paste YouTube URLs, but at this moment, YouTube loader accept the only the video ID, which is which is only the unique ID of the video, not the whole URL. The first step is to create this helper function that will actually extract video ID from the URL. And I'm using this, uh, this library for that. And then uh, we define this uh, get transcript and metadata function to get the transcripts. And just to test, I'm, I'm not going into the detail of how it works, but you basically give it the URL and it returns the transcript of that video. And just to show you that it works, this is uh, one of my my own videos and I'm just calling this function right now. And yeah, I'm getting the full transcript of one of my videos by calling these get transcript and metadata. And also I've got the title as an additional information. Okay, cool. So this function works. Uh, let me now just go to the third step, which is creating a, a chain. And actually we are only starting to create a chain, but uh, just a short note in uh, Langchain, we've got something, this cool feature called sequential chain, which allows you creating like a chain of large language models. So if you think about ChatGPT as your large language model, it is only, it is always just a one model. However, creating applications with OpenAI API, you can combine large language models like such as GPT 3.5 and you can create kind of a team of your large language models. And that's where chains become really, really uh, handy. Our chain will be very simple. Uh, it will contain only two models, uh, but, uh, but this is the entry point where we are starting to create it. And our first chain will be for creating summaries. And so we will uh, use uh, first, we have to import these three different modules. Uh, we need an LLM chain and then a prompt template and chat open AI because I want to use GPT 3.5 16K in this particular example because I want to create summaries in the first step. So that's how we uh, use summary template. And I talked about prompt templates in one of my previous videos, so you can check this out. And But here's where I defined the prompt template 
for summaries and because uh, and I'll pass the YouTube transcript that we've got from from this function and because the transcript may be slightly longer um, I just wanted to extend the context window using this 16k um, version of uh, GPT 3.5 and the prompt is very simple, but I want to tailor it uh, like for me. And uh, we'll get back to that info about me later. Uh, yeah, but in this first step, like in the first model of our chain, we are just summarizing a YouTube video. And that's how we implement it uh, using from template and then just defining the, our LLM chain and passing our uh, our model and our prompt. And this is uh, the important part that uh, as an output, we want to get the summary and we will use it later. I will show you that. And then the whole idea of this project is to create um, is to generate content ideas based on the summaries and some information about me and my target audience. So that's this step is very, very fairly similar to the previous one. We just defined this second model of our chain. So again, we've got uh, our large language model. And in this case, we will just go with the standard GPT 3.5 because we don't need a very long context length for for this for this particular task for coming up with um, content ideas and I've increased the temperature to uh, 0 0.7 because I want my model to be slightly more creative compared to 0 0.3 and the template is sim quite simple so I will I'm telling the model I will give it a summarized content, which comes from from this output, from from this model. Then I just want to repeat the info about me, and I want to add more information about my audience. So who am I talking to? And just give me some ideas that can be generated based on those three informations. And in a second, I will show you how we, how we will combine those two models. Uh, but again, we will use this prompt template and uh, these are the three informations. So summary inform about me and the audience. And we will use this idea template. And again, we are defining this as a chain. We will, are using this. Um, this model and the output key will be content ideas. So in summary, we've got like in the first in the first uh, model of our chain, we've got two inputs, transcript and info about me and one output summary. And here we've got three inputs, but info about me uh, is a new one. And this summary comes basically from this output. So it means that the output of the first model will be the input of the second model. And this is extremely important that we remain consistent with the naming, like this summary and this summary here and this summary, they always have to, um, we have to name them exactly the same because if we change something in summary here like summary one uh, we will face errors it won't work uh, so yeah so we've got transcript info about me and info about the audience as the uh, unique inputs and then we've got the summary and the content idea as the outputs and right now we want to combine those steps and we will use sequential chain. So in our example, we will 
actually called the sequential chain. But what happens here, you can think of as a simple sequential chain because we've got only two models. The output of the first model will be also an input of the second model. But altogether, we've got, as I mentioned, three unique inputs. So we will start with the transcript uh, and info about me as a content creator and info about my audience. And then as the output, we will get the summary based on the, in, on the transcript and info about me. So again, we've got the summary based on the transcript and info about me. And then we will get content ideas based on info about me, info about my audience and the summary. Yeah, so let's initialize the chain. Ah, okay, and, and the very important part is that we say these are our chains and we start with summary chain and then the idea chain. And again, this is the summary chain, this is the idea chain, and that's in the sequential chain, that's how we combine them. Okay, let's just initialize it. Uh -huh. It's not defined. Okay, I probably forgot to uh, initialize it. Uh, let's initialize the summary chain and then let's initialize the idea chain. And now let's call this and our overall chain is initialized right now. And that's when we move to our uh, UI part with radio and First, I just wanted to like give more information about me and my target audience. So uh, I want you to know that this part is very important for you in order to get unique content ideas. So you want to know, you want to give the model information about you and who your target audience is. So once you work with this project, make sure that you adjust those two uh, constants here. And then we just move to the radio part. And first we define the execute chain um, function in which we first get the transcript and metadata from the URL. So altogether we will pass three uh, let me maybe just first run it already. Uh, so we've got the function execute chain that we will call uh, with our Gradio interface. And we've defined like three inputs. Okay, so what's important, we will call our overall chain here. And these are the inputs. And again, the inputs of our overall chain are transcript info about me and info about audience. And as you can see, we've got these key value pairs here for those inputs. But first we need transcript uh, based on the URL of the video that we're using. Uh, so we call our get transcript and metadata again based on the URL and then We've got transcript info about me and we pass it to the, our overall chain and the overall chain returns these two summary content ideas and again summary content ideas. Okay, again, I made the same mistake. Yeah, and that's how I uh, pass this information like about me and my target audience in in Gradio interface. So about me and target audience is basically what I defined here and the URL right now. So let's see, here's a video summary and content ideas. So I've got placeholders for my video summary and content ideas. And all I need to do is to find an interesting video that I want to summarize and paste the URL here. So let's go uh, to YouTube. Okay, so now let's say I'm going uh, to YouTube and I've given it 
um, some information like a hugging face gradial and I just want like filter from this week and then maybe like 4 to 20 minutes and I see that it was like 4 days ago 17 minutes and let's just copy the URL so I go to share copy and I will paste it I will paste this URL here and just submit and right now my chain is working on both first is sum summary based on the transcript and then uh, it will generate content ideas for me it should take about 20 seconds I think to, to finish okay we've got it and right now I've got the key takeaways and it says for an NLP so it describes me uh, and it says Meta has released the code Llama and so on and so on so these are the most important information based on on this video and it's given me like 11 takeaways and the and the great part are these content ideas. So it's given me like 11, 11 content ideas based on the summary. I don't know if it's because 11 and 11. I, I don't know if it's a coincidence or it's basically taking every point and generate a content idea based on each point. But, you know, the most important part is that you we've just automated like the content idea generation based on like your preference, your script, like a short description about you and your target audience and basically a video that you haven't even watched, which is a huge time saver. That's it for today. Just to double down on that, this is extremely important that you adjust those two things so that you can get the most out of the outputs of our large language models because they really shine when you are very specific and they know you and what you actually want. So ensure to spend some time um, adjusting those two informations that we later pass to the prompt. Of course, this project can have like more ideas how to expand it. We've used only YouTube, but you probably also consume content from other sources like Reddit or Medium. This project will be easy to expand on those other resources. Uh, and let me know in, in the comments if you want me to create a, an expanded version of this project. And that's it. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something new and I'll see you in the next one.